we've had it with the difficulties of the WFCO 9865-80 auto detect. Uh, it's supposed to auto detect and it's not, so we're gonna swap it out. Hi all, this is John with Running With The Pack. Today I'm gonna do a video on swapping out a WFCO 9865-AD converter charger for a dedicated lithium power max. We had a lot of problems with the auto detect on the WFCO where it kept going back to a lead acid profile. So we decided to go with a power max converter charger, the PW55LKL which is a 55 amp multi-stage converter charger, meaning that it has a two stage for lithium with a higher voltage, and it also has a three stage for lead acid and AGM. The inverter charger wasn't the only thing we had issues with on the Forest River Wolf Pack for charging lithium. I'll put a link at the end of this video to one of our other videos describing what the issue was and how we remedied it. So before we get too far along, the Power Max has three charging positions. So there's a switch on the back. All the way to the left is a fixed voltage. Middle is two stage charging and that has a lithium profile on it. So that's the one we're going to want uh, for our lith lithium implementation. Uh, all the way to the right would be for lead acid or AGM batteries. I just like to take a minute to ask that if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll give you some time. Just kidding. If you like and subscribe, it helps us a lot with our channel. It gets the video out in front of other people. It lets us know that our videos help other people and encourages us to do more. We're gonna shut down the shore power. I'm gonna shut down battery power we have solar so i already killed the power for our panels so on a 2023 wolf pack toy hauler uh model 345 pack 14.5 the charger converter is behind the distribution panel so the first thing i'm going to do is remove the cover. There's four screws, uh, one in each corner. And next I gotta remove the four screws that are holding the distribution panel. Ow! Just kidding. Remember we disconnected the power. So as you can see, with Forest River, wire management is not one of their strong suits. That's the old WFCO 9865-AD charger converter. So the WFCO has Allen head terminal screws, and those are 5 30 seconds for the ground, positive, and negative. White is negative in this case. One thing I want to note, uh, a mistake that a lot of people make is they shove the wires into the terminals so far that when you tighten the screw down it's actually contacting with the insulation and only a little bit of the copper make sure that no insulation is under the screw so everything's back together everything's charging as it should uh, who would have thought that putting that 
cover back on the distribution panel would have been the hard part, but it was. Not that it was super hard, but compared to everything else, it was the hardest. I truly hope this video was informative for you and, and helps you out. If you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate you subscribing to our channel and liking the video. This helps raise our video up in the sea of YouTube videos to help other people that might be having the same issue. Thanks everyone. Till next time.